It's a great distresser. From the courtroom to the stage, trial lawyer turned comedian Lindsay Glazer is ready to make her mark in the comedy world. The Las Vegas local is celebrating the release of her new comedy album, Thanks Dad out this Friday, but before that, comedian Lindsay Glazer is hanging out with us this morning. Thanks so much for being here, Lindsay. You Thank know, you for having me. It's interesting. You know, you were telling me in the green room earlier, your dad paid for law school, you went to Tulane, and now you're titling this album after your dad. How much has your relationship changed with your father throughout the course of all these years, from graduating from college to now titling an album after him? It's pretty much stayed the same. <laughs> he thinks there's an exclamation mark after thanks, Dad. I put a period. My sisters have to explain what the difference is. And what's, what are you diving into when we're talking about thanks, Dad? What, what are the deep things we're discussing? Well, my dad had three girls, but he always wanted a boy. So we talk about that on the album, what growing up with a dad who always wanted a boy was like. We went to lots of Cubs and Bulls games growing <laughs> up. And, you know, you do say you're from Peoria. Sam Kinison, the great Sam Kinison, late, was from there. Uh, but let's talk about this, because you really, I'm not sure your career as a successful trial attorney, defense attorney, that informs your element on the stage, right? How much does success in the courtroom translate to the stage? Well, I know that we talked about this earlier, but there was a study done that the more laughs you get per minute when doing jury selection, even in a serious case, in an attempted murder case, yeah. the more likely you are to win the case. So litigation is a skill that easily translates to the from the courtroom to the stage. It's all a performance. And tell us a little bit about you know your decision to go into comedy. What was the feelings behind that? I'm sure you probably had those feelings maybe when you were younger. You maybe didn't have the uh, confidence to pursue it at such a or like young age or tell us how you really took to it and why now? Well, I didn't know how to start comedy. I didn't know anything about open mics or how you started comedy. Yeah. People are always like, how long have you do been doing comedy? I'm like, well, according to my sister, since I was 10 at the <laughs> dinner table. Right. So I, it just kind of happened. It happened naturally for me. Law had slowed down a little. I was in California at randomly a comedy festival. I had no business being on stage at the time. Yeah, yeah. I got on stage, they gave me a mic, and I never let go. See, that's amazing. And now from TJ Miller opening for Dimitri Martin, so many great yeah. comics. For people out there who are unfamiliar with your work, you, I was watching a lot of your stuff. You're amazing, very spunky, a lot of attitude. Uh, who are some of your comedic heroes? Who, who did you base your sets off? Or, you know, in the beginning, you have to mimic a lot of people so who were you mimicking I, I mean I wish I could mimic anyone I, I mean I really can't but I used to love Dana Carvey when Dana Carvey used to perform really? here yeah I would go over and over again with my grandfather and my dad to Dana Carvey's performance but I can't do any characters at all like he I can do like one character and my my kid 